Hey, I'm Matt. And I'm Ben. And we're both co-owners of Keystroke Games. This is our first tutorial in a long series of tutorials of how to use the GameMaker 8 game creation software. GameMaker is a simple but efficient game programming and designing software for beginners in game design. To start, we will introduce you to GameMaker, and I will give you and I will give you simple sets of advanced and simple program tutorials. I will also give you simple and advanced sprighting tutorials or graphic design. First, you need to install GameMaker 8, so follow these steps. First, go to an internet browser, go to Google, and search Yo-Yo Games. Click on the first thing that comes up, and you'll be brought to the Yo-Yo Games homepage. Then, go into the Game Maker tab, click on Standard. Then, scroll down until you get to download Game Maker 8.1 Lite. This is the only free version of Game Maker, and you really don't need the Pro Edition when you start. So, save this to your desktop. And it will take a few minutes to download. Just wait. Once it's downloaded, close your internet browser and go to the GameMaker 8 installer. Run the GameMaker 8 installer and install it wherever you want on your computer. Once, a, once it's installed, run GameMaker 8.1 Lite. When it comes up, there will be a bunch of pop-ups that might seem overwhelming. Just exit out of all of them. Down here on the bottom right of the screen, click the red X and then click the smaller X underneath the large one on the upper right corner of the screen. Now you're, you are now you have a clear template for a game. Now me and Dan are going to walk you through the basic functions of the ba the basic functions and parts of GameMaker. First, sprites are the basic units of graphics in the software. It's any still image or animation that can be programmed through objects. Next is an object. Objects are manually programmed instances or things in the game. They can be placed inside a game that is controlled by their programs. Next is rooms. Rooms are also known as levels. They are empty spaces where you can place objects and you can apply backgrounds with tile sets. Backgrounds are pretty self-explanatory. They are tiled images that can be placed in the back of a game to enhance the graphics quality. Tile sets are backgrounds divided into, the, into squares that could be manually placed in patterns anywhere in a room. An example of this would be a pipe tile set where there's different rotations and sets of pipes that you can place to make different kinds of pipes. There are a lot of other parts of GameMaker, but these are the basics. We will cover the rest in our later tutorials. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and watch our coming tutorials for more information on GameMaker 8.